Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and in today's video I'm bringing you an idiot's guide to streaming. Now it's getting pretty cold here in the UK, it's get, in fact pretty much anywhere in the northern hemisphere now we're starting to see the first signs of winter and it bloody sucks. Everyone's heading indoors, everybody's jumping on their, their favourite online platform whether that's CV Arcade or Zwift or Rogue Grand Tours. It's definitely not Vertigo anymore is it? Unfortunately. But anyway, which, whatever platform you want to use, I'm here today to show you how you can start your own stream, get an audience, and then do whatever you want with that audience. All right, first up, let's talk about equipment and what equipment we're going to need. Well, on the computer side, obviously you need the bare minimum, which is a laptop. If you've got a laptop with an internal camera and an internal microphone, you're pretty much good to go. You can, you can get streaming within the next, what, 30 minutes? But if you want to take it just that little bit further, you're going to need a few external pieces of equipment which are going to increase the quality of your stream no end. Take a look here. This is what I'm using. This is an MSI gaming laptop. Now, this is a little bit overkill for a stream. This does everything and more. And this is not something you need. However, if you want to check out the spec of this, it's in the link in the description. As long as you've got a decent performing laptop, you should be good to go, whether that's Mac or PC. Then here is my external webcam from Logitech. Link down in the description to Amazon if you want to go and buy one. Go and purchase that there. Inexpensive, 1080 HD quality webcam. Next up is my blue snowball. I've had this for bloody years now. Uh, again, it does the job fine. It does the job absolutely perfectly fine. There are better microphones out there, but if we're just starting out and we're just trying to experiment, we don't need any more than a blue snowball. And that's it, that's literally all I use. I'll, I'll go through my whole setup just so you can get an idea of how I set everything up and what it all looks like um, in the office shortly, but that's all you need. I would definitely recommend getting those external microphones and those external webcams. Now, if you don't wanna get an external Microphone, you could potentially use the microphone off the webcam. Cam. I have done that a few times when my microphone has died. But again, because the, the webcam tends to be a lot further away from you, it, it just picks up all the noise. So if you've got a fan on, if your turbo's loud, then you don't get that decent quality audio that you get in some other cases, especially when you've got the microphone right in your face. Um, oh yeah, just a cheap shot that, wasn't it? That's Someone who's not involved in the race get involved in the race. All right, so we've got the equipment sorted. Now we need the software on the computer. All right, next up is the OBS, which is the Open Broadcast Software, which is a software that's gonna tell your computer to send out signals across the internet to your preferred platform of choice where you wanna stream, and that's where your stream will appear. So let's head to the computer now. Okay, we'll come back to that later. First thing you're going to do is Google Streamlabs. Okay, Streamlabs OBS, bosh. Go into streamlabs.com and then I presume you know what you're doing when it comes to downloading, but you're going to download Streamlabs OBS for whatever platform you're on, Mac or PC, bosh. That's going to come down here and then do everything you need to do to install that program. If you don't know how to do that, there's no help in you. Um, just leave a like and then leave this channel because you don't know what you're doing. Open Streamlabs OBS, this is the screen you're gonna be greeted with. Bosh. Now obviously my stream is all set up here, so it's gonna look blank. There's gonna be nothing. All right, so once Streamlabs OBS is open, this is the screen you're gonna be shown. This is all gonna be blank though because there's gonna be nothing in here because all these have been pre-made by me but scenes are the most important part this is this is basically the scenes of your stream so the first scene here as you can see is simply nothing more than an image it's just a simple thumbnail that I can start the stream with so I can initiate my stream leave that thumbnail on and then when I'm ready to stream I can hit whichever key I need to to get into the stream so let's go through setting up these scenes for a newbie first thing you're gonna do is hit the plus add a new scene um, demo we'll call it once you've done that, hit that Bosch, and there it appears in your scenes. From there, you can add sources. Now, this is where you need to add the likes of Zwift, or your webcam, or your audio input, or whatever it is, overlays, whatever it is you want to add to that scene so people can see that on the stream. Okay, so just like scenes, first thing we're going to do is add a scene. So hit that plus button, and this will bring up all your scenes. We've got widgets here, which are um, 
well, they're pretty complicated. We don't need to get into them at the minute. So let's look at the standard sources that we can add. First up, let's add a window capture. This is what we're gonna get Zwift from. So we're gonna hit that window capture button. You can do it in game capture, but sometimes, yeah, sometimes it doesn't don't work. But I'm gonna go window capture here. So window capture, bosh, there you can see Zwift straight away. If you need to add a new source, you can simply do it there by adding a new source. But because we've already got it, I'm gonna hit that and then add that source. So now you can see the first layer of your stream is available. So and then here you can adjust the size of it, you can adjust the position of it. So if you want it in the middle and you want other things around it like sponsors, if you want to fill it up like other people do on the streams, just fill it up with loads of sh rubbish around the sides with, oh, brought to you by sponsorship and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is make it full screen, bosh. All right, so we've got Zwift on there. Let's add another source. So next up, let's add the video capture device. So this is for your webcams, either built-in or Logitech or capture cards, whatever it might be. Add that source. Right, I've had a few cams there, so we'll add a brand new source. So let's change that to webcam. Webcam? Let's add that as webcam. Idiot. So here's where your list of um, different webcams are gonna come up. So my C920, let's activate that and hopefully, there we go, there you can see my uh, my office space. Click done on that, and there you go. That adds it on there. Now, as most people should know, you can adjust the, the, the layers of this source by simply bringing that webcam down or up. So if you wanna put that webcam in front of something, then just take it to the top or take it, well, you know what, you know what to do. And then again, you can make different sizes of it. You can, uh, Oh, hello. So let's just put it in the corner there. Let's make it nice and neat. Don't need it too big. Bosh. Next up, audio input, which is what I'm talking to you on. Again, I've had various different ones. So let's add a new source. Mike. I should change the names on mine. I never do. I'm just too lazy, but it does help. You can see already that the mics pick something up here. So that's the default microphone. We don't want that. So here's my choice of microphone. So you've got the, the microphone off the webcams that I've got set up there the um, internal microphone, which sounds terrible, or the blue snowball. I'm talking to you on the blue snowball, so let's hit that. Press done, and there you go. That's now picking up sound from the blue snowball. Just gonna mute it there. Now, if you wanna make it louder or quieter, then you can do it simply by adjusting the volume there. Look, ah, see, obviously here you've got desktop audio as well. So if you want, Zwift sounds coming through then you just need to adjust that but I'm listening to music right now so I'm gonna leave it off all right so that's that's the bare minimum you need your window capture for Zwift your webcam for your facial features and your mic so you can communicate with people now let's not get any more complicated than that we don't need to do any more than that we can take it further and we can add overlays but the only thing I would suggest you do next is add yourself a scene which is a thumbnail just like that so to do that you add another scene, uh, thumbnail, and then all you're gonna do is go into here and add an image. So you can have any of those images, look, bosh. And then we'll just add one of these images that we've already got going on here, so. Um, let's pick this one, bosh. There you go, it's as easy as that. So between demo and thumbnail here on the scenes, you can flip between the two. So once you've gone live, you can leave this on, stream incoming or whatever you need to put on there. And then when you're ready to go live and you're on your bike and everything's ready, bang, hit demo or, or whatever your scene's named. And then bang, you're into it. You're ready to go. That's as easy as that. But Pritch, how do you actually go live? Well. Well, funny you should say that. Next, what we're going to do is just go into settings down here in the bottom left-hand corner. This is going to bring up all your settings you need. You've got general, stream, output, audio, video, hotkeys, advanced. Listen, we don't need to worry about that. All we need to worry about is streaming at the minute. Now, which service are you using? This is where you need to decide where you're going to be streaming to. Is it going to be YouTube? Is it going to be Twitch? Is it going to be Mixer where nobody's going to watch you? Is it going to be Facebook Live? Wherever it might be, you decide where you want to go. I'm going to go YouTube here. So here, the server is the primary YouTube ingest server. You don't need to worry about changing that. The only thing you need now is your stream key. Now, stream keys are really important because you need to keep this hidden because if someone else finds this, if someone else gets hold of this, they can enter that into their computer and then they can stream via your 
channel, whichever channel you've decided to stream on. So always make sure that that's hidden. All right then, so let's say you want to stream on YouTube. The first thing you're going to do is go into your YouTube studio, then go over to streaming now, and this will bring you to the first page of the control room in where you can start your stream. That makes sense. So here you can add a title, so whatever your race is going to be, Swift Race, with Training, CV Arcade Race, whatever. And then you can enter a uh, description in here like you would on a normal video, the category of privacy and all that jazz. Here you've got your chat page so you can see when people chat, stream health and your analytics, how many people are watching. Um, if you have super chat or members that will appear there. But right at the bottom here is your stream key or stream name. Now you need to copy this. So you copy that stream name and then you take it back in to Streamlabs and you apply it there. So when you go live on Streamlabs, by clicking this button down here. Basically, Streamlabs is gonna scour the internet via everything that you've just put in the settings. So it's gonna go, all right, I'm streaming to YouTube. What's the stream key? Where's the stream key on YouTube? Match them two up, and then it's gonna allow you to go live on your channel. Bosh. Same with Facebook, same with Twitter. Nah, not Twitter. No one uses Twitter to stream today. I meant Twitch. Same as Twitch, same as Mixer. You know, whatever whatever platform you're streaming out to, you've got to get that stream key. You've got to apply that into the settings on Streamlabs OBS. And then once you've hit go live, the stream keys will match themselves up together. And then you'll be able to go live. And then you are good to bloody go. All right? All right, and that's pretty much it when it comes to streaming. We've kept it nice and simple in this video. In the next part of our How To Idiot's Guide to Streaming, I'm going to go into a little more depth of how to set up a green screen, how to just crop and change images a little bit. Just give it that extra little juge that you want out of your stream. All right? But for now, we need nothing more than the webcam, the mic, and the footage of your game, whichever one you're using. One caveat when it comes to streaming, however, don't ever stream at the same time as me. If I'm streaming, you're not streaming. Dems the rules, all right? Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, do all those things you need to do. Leave your comments down below. If you are streaming, feel free to promote your streams down below as well. It's all love here, so let's check out your streams. But if they're rubbish, I will call you out on it, <laughs> okay?